George Clooney and Emil Clooney have one of Hollywood's most romantic love stories. It's one of Hollywood's greatest love stories. Since George Clooney and his wife, Emil Clooney, welcomed their twins, daughter Bella and son Alexander, in June, the power couple is already adding another chapter to their love story as first-time parents. Now is the perfect time to take a look back at their adorable love story from the first time they met to their romantic wedding. Keep reading to find out more about George and Amal's relationship, and watch the video below to see how the couple met. He seemed pretty adamant about never getting married again. George was previously married to actress Taylor Abalson from 1989 until 1993, and after that he repeatedly said he'd never get married again. Just one year after meeting Amal, he hinted that he still hadn't changed his mind in an interview with Esquire magazine. I haven't had aspirations in that way, however. I was married in 1989. I wasn't very good at it, he said in 2014. I was quoted as saying I'll never get married again pretty much right after I got divorced and then I've never talked about it since. It took her 25 minutes to say yes. During a 2016 interview on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, he explained that he planned to pop the question after the 39-year-old got home from a business trip to London. He cooked the meal for her and had a playlist of romantic music playing and after their canned lit dinner, George told her to look behind her where he hid the ring in a box. I got down on my knee and I said, I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life without you, he said, but Emma was in shock because she wasn't expecting him to propose. But finally she said yes and the rest is history. They had the most romantic wedding. In 2014, George and Emma wed in a private ceremony in Venice, Italy closer previously reported. The small guest list included a list celebrities like Cindy Crawford and Randa Gerber, Ellen Barkin, John Krasinski and wife Emily Blunt, Matt Damon and wife Lucian, and Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour.